Hey everybody and welcome to another embroidery tutorial video. Today we are working in embrilliance and I'm going to show you how to make a really cute little, it could be a quilt block or just a little design and you can put any name in it. So the first thing I want to do is bring in the file that I want to work with. Now we are going to, because it's not a working file, it's a stitch file, so it's a PES design that I have saved on my desktop. So we're going to merge stitch file, try to remember the difference between the working file and your stitch files, right on my desktop, right? There it is. Double click and it brings it right in. So I'm going to make that just a little bit bigger just so we can see it a bit better. Yeah, that looks right. Now that really doesn't look like much when you're looking at it, but I'm going to show you how to make it really pretty really quickly. So look at that. What we're going to do is right click, copy, right click, paste, and that's going to give us a second one. And then I'll move it over so you can see we have two, and that's the ghosting effect right there, which I love. So this one, you know right away that you are, that's your active one. And this one, you can still see where it is for great placement, but it's not as bright. And I really like that. So what we want to do is use right here, and we're going to mirror it, flip it, or mirror, whichever way you want to look at it. So we're going to flip it, and let's move it over here just a little bit. Or we could, no, I think I like it better like that. See, and I think that looks really cute. I think that looks much better. Now these are hearts kind of joined in and they're doubled over here, but that's fine. So that was quick and easy to do from one simple itty bitty design, but let's make it better. Let's grab the two of them and we're gonna do the copy and we're gonna do the paste. And then we're going to move the one we just did because they're together. I'm going to move it down and I'm going to, um, whoops, I'm going to uh, group them. So that should be up here and it is and that would be if you're on Mac, which of course you should be because it's awesome, that's Command G for group is a shortcut. If you try to learn the shortcuts quickly, um, it'll make your digitizing go a lot faster because you don't have to mess around with the drop down menus. You just do Command G done. What I do is I um, write them down on a little sticky note and try every time to use them and it, it comes in quite handy. So this one, what we're going to do here is we're going to mirror it, but we're going to use the other one. We're going to flip horizontally, and then we're going to position that just a little bit. I think maybe about like that. See, doesn't that look a lot better than the first design? I'm going to leave it in the blue because I think that's pretty. Now we should add some lettering. So right there, and that is actually the font that we want. I'll move that around, I guess. So remember, colors, letters, stitch. So you go to letters, and it says the ABC, so we can change it. So I have OML Embroidery, of course. And the set is right there. I cut it off a little bit, sorry. And we're going to put that in. I kind of like it there. Now remember, you can adjust everything um, really easily. So if you want to try putting a little, that's the wrong way, a little bit of slant on it. See, that looks kind of good with just a little bit. Um, the spacing, look how that's kerning, how quickly you can do that just by sliding it over. So I can put a little more space in between. Word spacing, so it's going to separate the OML and the embroidery. And I actually really like that too. And if you had more than one line, you could do line spacing. And uh, that is quick and easy. And I like that. So let's go change the color. So I've made that my preferred brand. Sorry, I picked the wrong one. You double click on the Madeira Poly. Um, what kind of color would look good? Hmm. Well, we could do, it's blue. So why don't we pick something that goes with blue? How about like a brighter blue? 1722, no, I don't really like that. Hmm. What do you think? A bit too dark? That almost looks black. I bet you when you stitch it, it would be different. I'm thinking this kind of a color. It's still pretty dark. Lighter? No, that's what we had. Yuck. 
How about really pink? Yeah, okay, that's what I wanted. So really pink and really blue. And look at that right there. How many clicks did I do? You have a wonderful design. And that could be a quilt block. That could be just a design you put on a front left chest. You could make that into a pillow, make it a little bit bigger. Um, there's a lot of things you can do with it. And it's really nice that you can do it so quickly. And I like the way this did the kerning, and I like how it sits in there. And uh, that's how fast it is to use and brilliance on your Mac. And I think that's absolutely gorgeous, and I love it. Anyways, thanks for watching. We're going to get more in detail with Embrilliance and really get into the good stuff. I think we've done everything we can on this part, and let's get into the real digitizing because um, it does just about anything, and I'm really thrilled with it. So I'm going to get working on it, and in the meantime, um, get some videos ready, and I'll be putting them up. So thanks for watching. As always, I wish you happy digitizing and keep calm and digitize on and I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like the video, um, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything and share these videos with everyone. If you have a Facebook group, put them up. They will help people. It's awesome. Thanks.